Three direction is when a anti invitation goes wrong, receiving something copy by a flash flood. Like the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out. So let's into this record in three, two, one. What is going on, guys? It's your boy. Phase Rug and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm not in my usual environment down in San Diego, yeah. and that's because we are out here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. If you didn't know, Gettysburg is one of the most historic towns in America, and that's due to the fact of what took place on these very grounds that we're walking on. This town is known for having the single bloodiest battle during the Civil War with over 50,000 casualties. And as you can see behind me, this uh -huh. is a Civil War building from 1863. This is the uh -huh. real deal. Relax. I have such high energy though for my videos. Just like right now, like for like Call of Duty. Just chill, like, okay. A lot of people say that I scream in my videos, so. Well, you just gotta relax. Hey, thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. You put me in my spot. So should I just like talk like this for now? <laughs> like, all right guys, we're in Gettysburg. It's cool, it's natural. I'm not here to bore you guys with a little history lesson, even though if I was your history teacher, you guys would probably all pay attention. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> but I wanted to just step out of my element, leave San Diego, come somewhere fun, and we just chose Pennsylvania. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hold on, let me tone it down. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like on the video, and let's yeah, go explore. Like. So someone was telling us about Lulu's finest ice cream, and not because ice of cream. what's inside, but right above the word ice, you actually see a legit cannonball back from the war. Wow. Oh, really? Really? I make YouTube videos. Is that a real cannonball? I don't know. I just started working here. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you. All right, guys, since I personally didn't pay attention back in history class, there's no excuse if you're actually here in person. So we found this Civil War artifact store, and we're going to check it out. Oh, look at this statue. Whoa, that's so cool. So there's um, actual real stuff from the Civil War in this store. Yeah. What is like the most popular thing you guys have? Or like one of the coolest things to make? <laughs> is that Abe? Yeah, it is. Uh, he delivered it. the most iconic uh, speech at uh, the Gettysburg Address uh, four score and seven years ago. Our mm. fathers. You know what's crazy? He actually delivered it on my birthday. Whoa. Not the year though. Not the year. I had to clarify the year, obviously. Yeah. Dude, was this a real uniform from the? Wow, oh, man, that's really cool. Oh, that's great. Shell fragments it has some weight to it. All right, well, thank. In twelve like, if you want to see more first five reactions, twelve like. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Quick question. I know this is not for sale, but. 60,000? 60,000? Oh my gosh. Wait, it says not for sale though. Because the guy was interested. 34 stars. Thank right, you so thank much. Thank you. Wait, is that because there are uh. 50 states? Yeah. Okay, see, that's a crazy piece of history. Hey, imagine waking up yeah. and like, hey, yo, a new state just dropped. <laughs> yo. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm super uneducated in, like, the history world. No, you're pissing me off with that. Come on. Real. All right, guys. So we're about to go pick up two special guests who just so happen to be out here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And as you can probably yeah. imagine, with all the history out here, most of the places here are haunted. And we're about to go check out one of the haunted locations. And that's just to give you a hint of who we're about to pick up. So come on. Let's go. What's up, guys? Nice to meet you. Dude, there's so many field trips going on. Hey, I love you too. Thank you. It's crazy to know that I have crazy. fans from across the U.S. and even some fans across the country. Sorry, I meant to say some fans in different countries. All right, if you guys can guess who the special guests are in today's video, leave it in the comment section below. I think I gave you guys a really solid hint. Uber for three. Come on in, guys. Come on in. What's up? Send me Kobe. Sam, Kobe, and Amanda. All right, where are we heading to, guys? Grubbin at the most historic restaurant in Gettysburg. Semi Kobe. The people at the restaurant say that they still see apparitions of soldiers, which is crazy. <laughs> I did hear that the Dobbin House is the oldest building in Gettysburg. It was built in 1776. What? Whoa. The year that America became a thing? Wait, what? 1776. That's Actually, when the declaration was signed. Holy. Guys, that is where we were last night for Sam and Colby's video. Dude, was, the activity was absolutely insane. Would you say that was one of like the most haunted places you guys have been to? Yeah. Yes. The most like active spot. We're doing two more houses tonight for Sam and Colby's video. They're doing three houses in one. Y'all are really upping your stuff, man. 
try it. There it is. Dobbin house. Oh my god, FaZe French! Yo! FaZe French. I know him, but I can't remember your name. I watched you last night. Well, I do have a beef to pick with you. Whoa, whoa, why? Uh, how could you buy a red Lamborghini without a cup holder in it? Oh, he watched the video from yesterday. <laughs> no way. And I can't remember your name. Clay. There, there you go. go. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, so we made a name for him. They call him Franchise around here because he, he runs it here, you know? So he's FaZe French. Feels so welcome. Oh, I got a gift you. for Amanda. Wait, this is actually sick. I'm excited to learn the history about this place. And I heard the food is good. You guys were telling us the French onion is. soup is the number one, right? Legendary. So I'm going to be the judge. saying that it was haunted. That is correct. I saw something online that some of the servers see like apparitions of yes. soldiers. Reverend Alexander Dobbin himself is also known to walk around the property. Guys, this is Whoa, the man. way. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Oh. I do like French onion soup. Okay, we have really good yes. French onion soup. Okay. So I told it, her. Does everybody want a French onion? Yeah. Would you like to look further in the menu to order anything else? I think like we leave it up to the chef. Yeah. Oh my God, we got a Frenchie. Dude, they've that been like hyping this up so hard. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Hey. Oh my all right, god. Alright, we did ask Instagram for some really juicy questions. And we're gonna be answering them. But before that, let's do a taste test. Dude. You gotta get some cheese in there and the juice. Whoa. Oh my oh, god. Cheese. Mmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it's really good. So good. Super. You look you All right, look. You know good. what? We're gonna get into the questions. First question. Mm -hmm. We're starting off one directed towards the man to my right, Colby. Mm. Me? We're just yeah, me. Right Does Colby have a girlfriend? Oh! <laughs> immediately. It wasn't my question. I saw it, bro. Immediately. Can I say maybe? Yeah, of course. Maybe. maybe. Okay. This one's a good one for us three to answer. Have you guys ever been in a near-death situation? Oh. That one. Yes. I have multiple near-death experiences. Why what? are you in all these near-death experiences? Uh, I was younger. What's yours? One of them is when I was exploring the haunted tunnel and it flooded. And I was like deep in the tunnel and it was a rainy night. A river of water just started coming from the end of the tunnel, coming towards us. And me and my cousin start sprinting, but the water's catching up to us. It's going extremely fast and it's very powerful. Fish. To the point where it actually took my legs out. So I fell into what? the water. I'm being carried out of the tunnel tunnel by the pressure of the water and like half my face keeps going in the water half keeps coming out ah! Ah! Going to the haunted tunnel is pretty dangerous, and I know a lot of people try to go, and I personally just don't recommend it. That's funny that your near-death experience has to do with uh, water, because same here. Mm. We almost drowned. We were trying to do something very stupid, getting our advanced scuba diving license in five days, and then we went down 100 feet, and we lost air. I lost air first, so I had to use this thing called an octo with the guide. So we're both using one tank of oxygen. And then, was it our filmer yeah. who lost air next? And then we still hadn't made it up to the top, so then I lost air. So five people were on like two minutes of air on one last tank. And we barely made it to the surface. Good ending of the story though. What makes it awesome is we were terrified obviously after that experience, oh, but we wow. still didn't have a video yet. And so the next day, I want to say, we went back into the water and explored a sunken shipwreck. The dedication right there. Yeah. All right, next question. What is the craziest paranormal experience you've had off camera? Dude, just recently, I don't know if this is the craziest, but something happened in the past like month or so where we're all hanging out in the living room. Oh my God, yeah. There were these blinds on our window and we actually saw, like it looked like a tennis ball got thrown into it. Like it looked like something punched it, like rippled the entire thing in our living room. No AC on what? at all. I was actually curious if your guys' house well, was haunted. We think so. We've also <laughs> opened like seven Dybbuk boxes in our basement. Yeah. I have one from my childhood, Okay. which is crazy because it was um, in my childhood home, which was very haunted. Me and my brother were home alone. Out of nowhere, like we heard the garage door open from his window. You could see the driveway. No car was there. So 
me and my brother, we were like 12, 13. We started hearing footsteps come up the stairs. I don't know. And me and Brandon just like went on his bed and like sat in the corner, just like waiting. His room was at the end of a hallway and the light was turned on on the outside. So you know, you could see like a light at the bottom. Oh, we heard the yes. footsteps just getting louder and louder. We see a shadow at the bottom of the door and the shadow just stopped at the door. We were super quiet. Like we could hear our heart, hearts beat. And then out of nowhere, you see the shadow like start walking away with footsteps. Oh God. Me and my oh, mom called my mom and dad. They said they're not there. They rushed home. They cleared the whole house. No one was there, no signs of break-in, and no explanation Bro. to this day. For me, at least, that was my first wow. ever paranormal experience in that house. Oh, I don't have anything that crazy, I don't think. Right after we went to the Conjuring house last year, we had like our first really in-depth, long experience with a Ouija board that worked. Since we had such like a deeply real experience with the Ouija board, we decided to do it at our house. Off camera, Off too. Off camera, and got legit answers and it was actually like Dude. moving but what was really scary about that is towards the end of the session every single answer was just back and forth it was just super strange i'm never touching a ouija board again <laughs> did you not like your cheese no it's good it's just a lot i don't know my stomach are it's you dairy. lactose and yeah i am but i still love cheese what well so, you're lactose too <laughs> i am so if we smell anything bad tonight it's not the ghost mm -hmm. when we did like abandoned videos we had this one clip we were in pitch black and like there's just like a <laughs> so instead of saying that it was a fart, we both went, what was that? Was that a door? Stop, dude. Stop. And nobody knows. To this day, played it off as if it was like a door creaking you open. You guys blame the ghost? <laughs> First dinner here, we have a filet. There's asparagus and a baked potato with it. Yes! Dang! Dang. This is our Getty's Town trip. And we also have crab cakes. Steak hurts my stomach, so if anyone wants it. Oh, okay, well, I could do a swap or something else? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Did I'm you want a cake? Yeah, I've never had crab cakes before. Though. Somebody said, how big are your guys's foreheads? Oh, show them. Wait, wait, are we doing it at the same time, or? I think we need a quick pick. Sure. Everyone screenshot, ready? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Who has the worst hairline? Yeah, wait, in the comments. I got a good one here. <laughs> oh, God, what? Who is the last person you searched on Instagram? Oh! <laughs> wait, that's interesting. Wait, this is kind of sweet. The last person I searched on my phone is my mom. Oh. Okay, that's wholesome. Oh, God. This is Are we getting something it? juicy? This is some juice? juice. Last person I searched was named Malia. Hmm. So, well, why are you searching her up? Yeah, long time computer. friend I met at like, elementary school. Oh. <clears throat> the tea is brewing. Uh, what about you? The last person I searched is uh, Bayeline. 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 What? Oh. Who's Bayeline? Who's Bayeline? Balin. <laughs> the people want to know, what is one thing you wish more people knew about you? A lot of people don't realize that we are actually human. Yes. And we do see a lot of like the negativity and the hate and stuff, and it does affect yes. us. Yes. Of course. We also make mistakes. Yeah. We're human. Like, we're not perfect. It's hard sometimes. Along that same line, I would say we also have like normal-ish like lives <laughs> with like other things. Like a lot of people think that we're only like going all these other places or always filming a video or always having this crazy experience. But there's like a lot of downtime, a lot of time that we just want to catch up with friends or like mm -hmm. go on a walk or like scroll TikTok just like everybody else. Yeah. We are mm -hmm. human. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love that. Yeah. Yes. That was a very <laughs> heartfelt question and answers. <laughs> All right, for the final and the most juicy question, I'm just gonna name off a bunch of locations. Or actually, I need help with some of these locations, but where we have signed the deed. Well, we're gonna put a finger down? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna name some spots. Make sure your hands are visible. And so if we did it, we put it down? Yep. All right. A car. Whoa, guys. <laughs> Yo, okay. Wait, oh, no one there? No, that's disgusting. In water. What does that mean? Hot tub? Just in the water, in general. In public. Okay. <laughs> public? What is public? <laughs> yeah, what does public mean? In a park? That's public, right? Yeah, yeah that's, definitely, ah. that's definitely an area people go to. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> Let's knock out everyone here. A bed. I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Okay, I don't like how holding the twos. <laughs> Movie theater. But that's also public. Yeah. Oh! Oh, hey, thank you guys for answering some questions. That was fun. Uh, the yeah. food, though, what do you guys rate the food in general? Like a 9.8. It's so good. This is like the best 1860s food I've ever had. 
I was gonna say yeah. a nine out of ten for sure. It was great. Yes. Thank you look really good. good one. All right, guys. So the word spread around town of where we're gonna be doing an investigation tonight. That whole place is supposedly swarmed with kids, and they're trying to talk to their producer to see what they can do. Because obviously, if we're doing an investigation and it's surrounded by a bunch of people screaming, then it can turn into a disaster. So while we were at the restaurant, Sam and Colby got a call from their producer, letting them know that the spot we were gonna be investigating later that night is surrounded by fans. Somehow, the word spread around Gettysburg, and they found out exactly where we were going to be that night. We were completely fine with it. You already know we love meeting our supporters. There were some outside of the restaurant that we stopped and took pictures with. Keep in mind though, our investigation wasn't until another three hours, so we thought the crowd would be gone by then, but we forgot that we had some loyal, loyal fans, and this is what happened after our investigation. Bro, we literally just finished up the investigation here. We're going to head to the orphanage. But this is just wild. Nobody accidentally posted or anything. We just went to like a low key Panera on the outskirts of Gettysburg. We were the only ones there, too. Yes. Yeah. The worker knew who we were, and now this happened. Literally from one person to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are we going to get to the orphanage? Police escort? Really? They said they would drive us. What? Really? Yes. Hey. How are you doing? Good. Oh. So I'm here, obviously, because of the crowd of people. Keep off top. Yeah, thank you. It got so hectic at one point. How many people would you say were outside at one point when we were in here? Hell, there were hundreds. Hundreds? There are still people running away. No way. The officer's children watch you guys. That's awesome. Aw, oh, thank you. Every single person I've met here was super welcoming, super nice, humble. So the cops ended up getting called because the crowd was getting a little bit rowdy outside. Now here's where it gets a little scary. The lady who was helping us with our investigation told us that some of the people out there may or may not be your fans. Meaning wow, really? Two of them seemed to be getting a little bit out of control and she was genuinely worried for our safety. Oh, really? We really know a lot of our real supporters are out there wanting to meet us and so do we, but the lady and the cops made it very clear that it just was not safe for us to walk out in the street and take these pictures. This next clip you're gonna see is when I hit record and you'll hear a little bit of what the lady was talking about. Wait, what? They're gonna go get an unmarked vehicle. Are you saying they're gonna rush the house? I mean, that's my guess. That's what they're gonna do. Wait, what? As soon as they see you guys, they're gonna be running across the street. Okay, that's and don't that's, think everyone's cool. We just want to know what you guys want to do. If you're okay with going in the police car, yeah, I've never been in a police car. So he's gonna run back to the station and grab that other vehicle real quick. You guys in it, get you over there as fast as we can, get you inside, and then keep them from coming over. Okay. You guys have never been in the back of a police car before, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all have never been arrested before. Never. Honestly, though, do you think we should get in the cop car and then have them leave town for like five minutes to make them seem like we're getting escorted home? Yes. And then come to the back of the orphanage? I think yes. so. I think we have a little plan. Right, let's plan. So what, what if we drive out of town for like 10 minutes? Kind of like make every mislead that's, everybody? That's what the officer was going to do. He's going to take you in the unmarked car, kind of go around the block the long way. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. You guys ready? Yeah, right, you guys we'll, ready? We'll just follow directly behind you. Let's, let's do it. Thank you. I feel so bad because I want to go take a picture with everyone, but I, you can't. You know what I mean? We got one more location for your guys' video. One this more. is a banger, bro. This, this is, is insane. Brother. Guys, at this point, we feel so bad because any chance we have to take pictures with supporters, you already know we're going to do it. But we also have to look out for not only our safety, but we had to follow the cops' orders. If they think it's unsafe, then we got to follow those orders. This is one of the craziest experiences ever, right? Like, wow. we're riding in the back of the cop car to our next investigation investigation location to make things even crazier the really crazy yeah. the cop told us that we were driving on the actual gettysburg battlefield driving through an actual civil war battlefield where many lives were lost was just straight spine chilling especially because of how late it was wow Thank you, man. that was awesome oh my God, bro. Bro, dude, the gettysburg battlefield no, for real. <laughs> easily one of the craziest experiences while doing this
So after driving uh -huh. through the actual Gettysburg battlefield, the cop dropped us off at our next location, which was a haunted orphanage. I don't want to spoil too much because this is Sam and Colby's video, but it was wild. Now, just to walk to the entrance of this orphanage, we had to walk through an old cemetery. Ooh, it's giving me chills thinking about it. We stopped at the cemetery. You said this is where everyone's buried from the... This is the National Cemetery, Evergreen Cemetery. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we're walking to the orphanage now. Thank you guys for being so chill, by the way. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Whoa. Wow. One of the craziest experiences of my life. Okay, so we just wrapped up the investigation at the orphanage, and it was one of the creepiest and most demonic encounters that we've ever had. I don't want to spoil too much because this is Sam and Colby's video that comes out in a few months, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. Now that we were finished up with the investigations, let's take it back to a wholesome moment. That day marked one year since Colby beat cancer. Everyone give it up oh. for Colby in the comment section. So me and Noah decided to do something special for him. We're going to make it back to the hotel now oh, Sam and Colby are getting warm. Guys, Clay is right here too. Oh my god, hi! hi Clay. <laughs> I'm Clay. Nobody's coming up to me. Can you ask him for a picture? He's gonna be famous one day, I promise. Can I have a picture sure with you? Sure you can. Oh. One, two, three. Perfect. Hey, Thank you. Yo! Mm. Everywhere I go, there's a tunnel that appears in front of me, calling my name. We just go this way, bro. The sidewalk literally just ends. <laughs> so me and Noah are heading to Walmart because just yesterday, a very special moment was brought to my attention by Colby. Colby became one year cancer-free. Yo, I'm so proud of him, man. He is super strong. For those who don't know, he got diagnosed with testicular cancer and he beat it. We want to go to Walmart, maybe get him a little cake or something to show our appreciation. Sam and Colby, I've always said this, are two of my closest friends that I've met throughout this entire YouTube journey. They've always treated me well. They've always treated me with respect and wow. I love them. That's appreciate sick. you. I used appreciate to watch you. you as a kid. Bro. Thank you, bro. That's thank really you. cool meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You Dude, I can't tell if it's a compliment. It's like I used to watch you. Why don't now. you watch me now? <laughs> it's okay. I'll take that as a compliment still. If I was a part of someone's childhood and I made it better, that matters. All right, so this Walmart doesn't have bakery section or fresh produce, so there's no cakes. What do you think I could get my friend? He's one year cancer free. I wanted to get him like a nice custom cake. Cakes here are giant and Kenny and wise. Let's look up one of those. I giant know. food store. Okay, why didn't I think of that before? Thank you so much. I just lost my sister from cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, dang. Dude, honestly, we might get flowers too. I'm thinking flowers, cake, and balloons, the trio. I was wondering if we're able to write something on a cake. Yes, you can. Okay, it'll be for me. I like that. All right, let's find a nice cake canvas that we can actually write on. Hold on. Sam and Colby are pretty famous, right? Colby Brock, favorite color. It says blue is my favorite color. All right, we're going to get him a blue cake then. I mean, it says a blue cake. cake but it's blue. All right, Colby, even if it comes out bad, it's coming from the heart. Wait, Noah, you're good at this. I was gonna say, I, I thought you wanted to do it, but I Like I do, because it. it's coming from the heart, but then- Like a ghost rider. Ghost rider, <laughs> my you. ghost rider, literally. Try it. Okay. Bro, you are crushing <laughs> it. We'll keep you guys posted once it's done. Wait, no, you killed that. Hold on. Yeah, can you draw something there? Or a heart? Do you have like a red icing? Okay. Yeah, heart, 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 yeah. Right You're gonna finish it off for us? Oh, oh I like this. Yeah. Yo! I'm not writing. I'm Let's not good go. at Yo, that's perfect. Wow. Guys, I saw something online that made me change my perspective on flowers, but it said something like men never receive flowers until their funeral. This is just to show appreciation. Doesn't hurt to get some men flowers. We would appreciate it a lot. Are these all the balloons you have? Like, I want to just get like, not a congratulations, like graduation one. Like, I wanted to get like a regular congrats. Like, just, like, well, we have a bunch of right here you just find one you like upload them okay what you gotta celebrate oh that one's perfect my friend is one year cancer free oh dude that's great thank you so much hey i hate to be a pain could i get a picture no of course it's not a pain <laughs> Hey, appreciate you. But yeah, guys, so we're about to film in like an hour and a half. I mean, it's cool. I just wanted to get some like behind the scenes, vlog a little bit on the trip, show you guys what we do in our free time before the investigations, after all that. But of course, have some fun with it. All right, guys, Sam and Colby are in the lobby and it's time for the gift. Colby, man. 
We want to give you a little gift. No way. Yes. Thank you, man. That Congratulations is so nice. on being one year cancer free. Oh my god. Thank yes. you, bro. That is so nice, dude. Yeah. Love you, bro. I love you too, bro. Thank, thank you, man. Of course, man. I'm happy for you. All right. Let's go catch some ghosts. All right, guys. We just wrapped up a crazy investigation. Was that one of the best? Probably the best that this crew has gone through. Mm -hmm. oh my god. This is my first time ever stopping at Sheets. Have you guys been here? Yeah, I've heard about it. It's an East Coast thing, right? Yeah. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Whoa. Uh, Did actually order it through that? What? Oh, really? Let's see if they have Chug Rug. They used to have it back then, but let me check right now. There's so many energy drinks that are taking over. Is that G Fuel? Wait, they don't have Chug Rug, though. I fell off, guys. All right, no Chug Rug. Did you guys order something? No, I gave up. I got a quesadilla. Yeah. Wait, you actually just gave up? You're not gonna eat? This duo cheeses. Mmm. Our cheddar and parmesan. Okay, let's see. I hate when there is too much to look at. I'm super indecisive. I just wanted to say. We might just end it off with some snacks then. But I want to see what else they have here. Yeah. Seriously? It's like too much to choose from. Come on. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong. You know what? I'll run a Lunchables too then. Turkey and cheddar. Let's go. One gas station I want to go to is Bucky's. It's the Bucky's. world's largest gas station, and they have so much there. So I might make a trip out to Texas. Guys, I don't travel that often. The only people that can get me to travel are Sam and Colby, man. Is this planned right here? It actually wasn't. No. We just walked. Wow. Shop Explorer.com. Wow. You already know, buddy. All right, gang. This is my room right here. Take your snacks. You got the Cheez-Its in there, right? Yeah, the Doritos. All right. There you go. What snack did you get? So much, sir. And the best of all time. Mike and Nike. Yup. No, it's not Mike and Nike. on Mike and Nike. That's so weird. All right, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Need it back to the room. I don't know if you guys do this as well, but right when I get to my room, if I have two beds. I use one bed to just unpack all my clothes. But yeah, we got snacks from earlier. I don't know why Sam and Colby are avid Mike and Ike haters, but these are fire. Got my Lunchables, Rice Krispies, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Best snack of them all, one up freeze dried candy. Only reason I didn't get it at the gas station is because we're Walmart exclusive. Literally, if you go to a Walmart near you, it should be in there. Thank you guys for the support on it. It is so freaking good. If you guys like freeze dried candy, this is the way to do it. Kind of just taking you guys on a little behind the scenes, what we do before, after, how we feel after like yeah. i'm not gonna lie after an investigation you are so drained because for the past four hours you're just so locked in it's pretty much like a history yeah. lesson but it's so much fun like haunted videos are legit my favorite thing to do on my youtube channel and it's also even cooler that i'm doing it with two of the best sam and colby and of course amanda all right so if you made it this far in the vlog and you love sam and colby as much as i do i'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of how they take their thumbnails by the way where we took the thumbnails was one of the most demonic basements of all time. You can only imagine how scary oh, wait, wait, wait. we're going back down there just to take the thumbnails. Man, the dedication is real. Some thumbnails after one of the craziest investigations. I don't want to spoil too much, but this was demonic. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe yep, button yep, if like. you want to see more cool, fun, behind-the-scenes type videos. And I'll see you all with the next one. Peace out. Wow, that was when uh, Andy invited Jason Ghost 1 featuring Sam and Kobe by first part. The link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out and drop a like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you are new. And click the bell so you can be notified from an upload. And if you wasn't your survey follow, subscribe. And I'm out. Bye.